Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jenna from Skincare and Beauty DIY Life. And here's my little guy. He wanted to pop in and say hi because um, mommy's doing videos and he wants to be included in one. So, hi. Hi. Okay, there you go. Mom life, right? You gotta do what you gotta do to make those little guys happy. So today I'm jumping in here and I am going to be shaving my face. It's actually called dermaplaning, but some people say shaving. So what I'm gonna be using is um, this Schick, what is it? Schick Silk Touch Up Eyebrow Razor. Um, I do have a scalpel that a lot of estheticians and um, dermatologists use, but it, it, I personally don't really like it. Um, it, it. It does go for a deeper dermaplane, but I, I really like using these guys. They're very easy, very simple. It's cheap. Um, I get these off of Amazon. I've tried a bunch of different kinds. I've tried the Twinkle and the other cheaper kinds. But these seem to be um, seem to be the best ones. They don't cut my face um, for the most part. I'm careful, um, but uh, yeah. So I thought I'd you know share with you what I do and what dermaplaning is if you're unaware of what it is. Now, guys shave their face every day. They've got thick hair on their face. Now, women's facial hair is much different. Um, for the most part, most women have, you know, thinner peach fuzz type of hairs, you know, around here and here sometimes you get hormonal thicker hairs, but for the most part, all here is kind of just peach fuzzy. And a lot of women are self-conscious about that, me being one of those women. And for many, many years, I wasn't aware that you could dermaplane. Um, you know, I tried waxing, I tried bleaching, I tried, um... That's all I tried. <laughs> but that that's basically what you can do before. You, oh, and Nair. Nair, I tried that too. But um, with waxing, I got little bumps and kind of pimples from that. Bleaching, didn't take it away. Um, Nairing, it did, but it gave me a, like a little rash and that's really not cool on your face. So when I figured out that you can dermaplane, AKA shave your face, um, to take off the peach fuzz and take off all the dead layer of skin. I was like, what? I can, I can dermaplane shave my face and I'm not going to have a beard. Like wh where was this years ago? Why didn't I know about this? This could have saved me so much, um, self-conscious situations of me. Like yeah. if you're a fuzzy girl, like peach fuzz, you know what I'm talking about. Like if I knew about this years ago, it could have saved me so much, just so much, you know, feeling self-conscious and all that stuff. So I'm gonna jump into this today and share it with you guys what I do. Um, and if you wear makeup, which I'm not, I'm not someone that does because I like to rub my face, I'm at home all the time. But if you wear makeup, dermaplaning makes your application like flawless because it takes off all the dead layers of skin, it takes off all the hair. So your foundation and powder, whatever you use, it just like goes over your skin. And after you've done this, if you haven't done it before, your skin, and if you, even if you've done it before, but after you've done this treatment, your skin is like baby soft smooth. The first time I did it, and it's still when I do it, I'm just like, it just feels amazing. And I'm, if I could help, another woman out there with what I've dealt with and help them to let them know that they can do it at home too and have that flawless, you know, skin or the feel of it and take off the peach fuzz so you won't worry about it, then hey, like why not? Um, if you do have darker hairs on your face though, I don't personally recommend it. I think you should stick with the threading or the waxing or the lasering um, just because I, I don't have that other than here a little bit, but um, it, c it could grow in thicker. I just want to give that little um, kind of caution to you just in case. Don't want to like mislead you at all. But for me and people with like peach fuzzy fuzz and you know, a little bit of dark hair here, game changer. Game changer. 
Okay, let's get into it. I'm gonna try to use the camera as a mirror, even though I normally use my mirror as a mirror, but I, just to show you guys what I do, I thought I'd just, you know, try to do it on there. So what color should we go for today? I'm gonna go for the middle one. It comes with this. My skin is is um, completely clean. I came out of the shower, still got wet hair. So when you do do this process and this treatment, make sure your skin is completely clean and dry. Um, I've tried to do it with kind of like damp skin. It doesn't work that well. Um, some people do this. I haven't tried it with like a lubricant, with an oil. Um, if they have more sensitive skin, they've, you know, the lubricant helps it glide. I don't personally do that. I do it like right on the dry skin as I'll show you. Um, but yeah, just kind of putting that out there. There's another option if you have dry skin and if it kind of irritates your skin. So it has the safety on it. Take that off. Take my glasses off. And what you always want to do is you want to hold your skin taut, tight, whatever you want to say. And just kind of do like little strokes. Be careful around your hairline. Be careful around your eyebrows. You don't want to um, screw up your hairline, right? You don't want to do that. Can you see that? Is it little fuzzy stuff on there? Now again, around your eyebrows, be careful, unless you wanna do a little slitteroo. But in my other video, you saw that I did um, my eyebrows with the, just for men, to make them fuller, they're still full. See that? You see that? Um, See, on there, so this isn't just peach fuzz, it's dead skin as well. Dead skin and peach fuzz. So you're, this is a physical exfoliant. Um, there, I'm just looking at something because I wanna, you want something clean to wipe this off. You don't wanna keep doing it and wiping it all over your skin. So um, this is a physical exfoliant, not a chemical. And you're just, just like, you would with a uh, exfoliating cloth or a scrub. See that? That's a lot, a lot of fuzziness. I haven't done this for a while, so I'm overdue for sure. But you just wanna do little, little strokes. Hold your skin tight, little strokes. I always go in the down motion. See that? I always go in the down motion. Oh, I nicked myself. That's what happens when you don't have glasses on. That's okay though. Not a big deal. When you're starting out, from my experience, you do nick yourself quite a bit because you're learning. So you know what I was thinking? Uh, even if you don't have peach fuzz, it is, hold on, hold on, let me get through this part. Even if you don't have peach fuzz, this is amazing treatment just to take your dead skin off. Like you don't have to be a hairy girl like me um, to do this. You can do this and just focus on getting your dead skin. How often you want to do this, dermatologists, estheticians say once every four weeks. Um, I myself do it maybe between seven to 14 days. I don't do a deep one. I'm not trying to get like 
really in there like some of the dermatologists and estheticians i'm just really trying to take the light top layer of my dead skin plus the peach fuzz Wow. Look at that. Okay, so let me just look over. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, what happened there? My light died on me. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, I wish you could feel the smoothness on. Yeah, I got a null neck. It's not a big deal. I wish you could feel the smoothness through the skin, the screen. It's just like, it's like my brand new baby's, I don't have a brand new baby, but it's like my newborn's baby skin touch. So soft, so nice. Anyways, I'm going to lightly just rinse my face and then continue with my skincare. I'm not gonna put too much um, products on my face right now. I'll probably do that later on and finish up my skincare PM routine, but I'm um, just gonna rinse it, kind of put um, like a hyaluronic acid and maybe some snail essence on here, let that soak and absorb and then continue through my skin products. But yeah, hopefully that was helpful for some of you, one of you, 10 of you, how many of you that I've helped today. Um, again, this has been a game changer for me. It has relieved um, a lot of insecurities I've had around being a fuzzy girl and so, so helpful, so helpful. Takes away the fuzz, makes my skin all smooth. I can't see it stop touching my face. I'm not, I'm not a skin, I'm not a face toucher. Um, I'm, I, I hate touching my face with my hands and whatnot, unless it's clean, of course. But just the feeling of this, you can't help to do it. Like after you do it, if you try this out, please let me know, comment below, like, comment, ask questions, all that stuff. But after you do it, after you feel your skin, you're just like, wow, where did this skin come from? Like, it's gorgeous, it feels wonderful. Anyways, hope that was helpful. Again, I got this product, the Silk, no, the Chic Silk Touch Up for shaping brows and gently exfoliating. I got this on Amazon, it was around five bucks. Um, I get the subscription for it to be sent to me every month because I just love them so much. I've tried again, so many different kinds. These are the kinds I keep going back to. I even have the professional kind. I, I'm. This is just what I'm comfortable with and what I go to. So hopefully it was helpful. Again, thank you so much for joining me today um, and just being here with me and while I share what I do to my face and what helped me on my skincare and kind of beauty journey. I'll see you again next time on the next video. Okay, bye.